Good morning. It's Friday and it's been 72 hours since my vaccine. <clears throat> Almost 72 hours since my vaccine. Just a few more minutes. But anyway, I was looking for my shot this morning. I couldn't even find it. I didn't have any um, bruising. I didn't have um, swelling on my arm. I could barely see the dot. So... Um, even after the vaccine, okay, day 72, <clears throat> this week is crucial when you're getting vaccines because usually the side effects don't come out right away, it comes out within the first week, um, when I woke up today, my throat was a little bit scratchy, but after I took a glass of water, it went away, so it might just be <clears throat> some usual, so it's a little bit scratchy and itchy today, um, it's not a special day. <laughs> um, I have earrings on, okay, and I had I have lipstick on because I'm going live at ten o'clock. I have a class at ten o'clock on Fridays, um, usual. So I'm going to take which I forgot. <clears throat> I'm my probiotics today. <clears throat> I'm going to take my probiotics today and I'm going to take my vitamins A to zinc, <clears throat> vitamin C, my omega-369 and glucosamine, chondroitin and MSN. Okay, I got a couple of good messages and questions about the vaccine, about the vitamins, about um, my skin, <clears throat> and about uh, this vlog or blog. I didn't even know that this is considered vlogging. <laughs> anyway, there's one important thing I'd like to talk about because I don't have a lot of time today. Um, AstraZeneca vaccine. Okay. First, <clears throat> people who missed my first um, documentation, for me is what I call it, um, on the first day of my prep for getting the vaccine and the first day um, of getting the vaccine, they asked what I got. I got a Pfizer, okay? I got a Pfizer for my uh, vaccine. And then um, I told you I was apprehensive at the beginning, but... With the help of friends and the friends who actually had them, um, all that apprehension went away. I was just more excited than apprehensive. <clears throat> These friends I'm talking about are doctors and pharmacists in different states and in different countries too. So um, I get in touch with my friends and we share each other's experience. I'd like to answer that. Okay, first, yes. Um, first question was, what did I get? I got a Pfizer. We got Moderna or Pfizer in the United States as of the moment. <clears throat> I got a Pfizer because our county got the Pfizer. So, um, through Walgreens. And um, there's a lot of um, noise about AstraZeneca because this is the vaccine for the masses, okay? It's cheaper than the other vaccines available. Um, I have a friend who works for the Ministry of Health in one of the e European countries, <coughs> European Union. And there was a news that AstraZeneca's um, vaccine is only effective, is only 8% effective, okay? This was debunked real fast by the CEO of AstraZeneca. I think there was a confusion. Okay, um, because when they did the test, there's only 8% um, the patients, 70 and up, okay, who participated in the trial is only 8% of that population, okay? So I think that's where the confusion is coming from. And then it's tested... <clears throat> Um, the age age bracket was 56 to 69 years old. There's 12 percent of the total participants in that age bracket, and then there's 8 percent in the 70 and up bracket. 
um, the resource said that AstraZeneca's um, vaccine is only 8% effective. So <clears throat> there was a confusion in there. Um, AstraZeneca, Swedish, in partnership with Oxford University, Swedish, British, has been distributed in the United States. The news is on two German newspapers. Okay, so today <clears throat> the European Union is going to come out, come up with their scientific opinion and um, we're waiting on that. Um, so <clears throat> it's nice to get news like this from other countries too. And I just want to clarify that um, it's really not fair to say that, oh, AstraZeneca's vaccine is only 8% effective. I think there was a confusion that the group of people, <clears throat> 70 and up, that was part of the trial or who participated is only 8% of the total population in the trial. Um, so let's wait for the EU's announcement, um, their scientific opinion on AstraZeneca's effectivity. <clears throat> but it seems like because there's not enough um, participants um, who are in the older age bracket, the indication might be for up to 64 years old okay so <clears throat> that's that and I'm going to take my probiotics and my multivitamins and other supplements your questions are really good um, keep them coming I'll try to answer all of them um, the reason why I did this documentation is really just for myself and of course I wanted to see how I would react to the vaccine I'm a pretty healthy individual <laughs> this are the usual supplements I take in the morning. I've never been hospitalized except when I had to give birth to my son. Um, um, I had a c-section and that was it. Thank God um, I'm pretty healthy. Um, <laughs> I'm not a healthy eater um, but I guess <clears throat> um, um, the supplements and um, just trying to be positive is helping me be healthy. So, yeah, just DM me, private message me. I'll try to answer your calls. So today, the question is, the question I picked is, what did I have? I had Pfizer, okay? And then my take on the AstraZeneca um, vaccine. I'd like, to I'd like to thank all my friends who's always um, in touch with me and who always share opinion <clears throat> Um, share their opinion and share their experience. So you can tell that my throat is a little bit scratchy and I still keep clearing my throat. So that's what I've noticed today. So 72 hours later, this is um, what I'm noticing. But after I drink water, it goes away. And I usually have that. Um, during this time of the year, I get allergies too. <clears throat> and this is it. I actually lose my voice usually from December, last week of December until February. Sometimes it goes all the way to March. So this is not something new to me, but it may be the vaccine too. Um, yeah. Anyway, I got to get ready for my class. I have a class at 10 and that's it for me today. Thank you for, <clears throat> for all the compliments that you're sending me. And um, I hope I'm helping you. A lot of people are messaging me that I'm helping them and it's very informative. Like what I said, <clears throat> we only know what, um, what information is out there for us. Even if we're pharmacists or even the doctors don't know much because this is a totally new vaccine. So it hasn't been tested for a long time. And these are all personal experiences, um, my personal experience and some friends' um, input as well. So thank you, thank you, everyone, and I'll talk to you later. <clears throat>